portfolios. Uh, e-portfolios in recent years have become more and more popular and accessible to students uh, from early childhood through to adulthood. Uh, we'll be looking at the theory and practice behind successful use of an e-portfolio. Initially, you'll need to become familiar with the timetable and assessment tasks, uh, both of which can be accessed from the main menu. Uh, the help menu, or help forum, sorry, is located from the overview page. Use this to ask general questions um, so that the answers can be available to everyone. Uh, contact me via email for more personal questions. Uh, there are four assessments, all of which need to be passed to gain an overall pass. Um, each of you will receive access to an ePortfolio on a website called My Portfolio. Uh, you will develop this ePortfolio and complete tasks to show your understanding and develop skills in how an ePortfolio can be used in an educational context. Uh, you'll gain access to this ePortfolio uh, by week three. The assessments. Assessment one. Uh, this is a learning journal and operates very much like a blog. Uh, you are required to write 10 journal entries that relate to ePortfolio theory and practice. Uh, your journal is located within your ePortfolio. You'll get lots of instructions about this. Right, assessment two is the essay. Uh, an essay guideline document uh, has been provided for you, outlining, outlining exactly what is required. Uh, we also use Turnitin to check essays for authenticity. Now assessment three, this is the ePortfolio project. Now wherever you see my portfolio listed in the menu above is where you will find the tasks required to be completed. Uh, there's also a checklist uh, on the assessment page. Weeks 9 to 14 will be opened up for you to access by week 4 so you can start developing your ePortfolio. Um, uh, these are all the skills required uh, to get that done. Okay, so weeks 9 to 14 will be opened up um, ahead of time, so to speak. Assessment 4. Now this is the forums. I must stress that in this module you'll be working with two separate pieces of software. So there's your ePortfolio and Moodle. And you'll need to move between them uh, for various activities like forums. Now just read the instructions and follow the appropriate links to get to where you need to be. Uh, there is criteria attached to the forums since it is an assessment. Uh, so be sure to read this information. Now, my main advice for this module is don't leave the ePortfolio project too late. Uh, be consistent with it. Uh, those that haven't been consistent in the past have found it very difficult to pass this module. Um, it's a worthwhile project to get involved in, um, but there's a lot to do. Okay, good luck, have fun.